I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. The story of, of Kay and Ben is a great story, but it's even greater when you hear the Nixon tapes, right? When you see the New York Times and what they're doing, uh, when you get a feeling for the larger world that is around these people, that they are, that, that, that creates the context for this decision. People are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. What I love about uh, her story is that it is both, as Merrill would say, mouse to lion, right? It, it is a woman who you see in the boardroom afraid to speak, right? Can't even get out the words, right? With a bunch of men and, you know, and, and her only friend is, you know, Fritz Beebe, who's the chairman of the board. And she goes from there to the woman who makes this hard decision against the voices of all the men, including Fritz Beebe, her only friend. Right, so that evolution, right, is 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 tremendous. Just in terms of a woman, sort of, of, of any executive, like I think you could teach this in business school. It's of any executive, you know, sort of taking the reins and leading. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life. Well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. Every actor has come having done their homework. Carrie Coon, Carrie Coon taught us how to pronounce Phil Jalen's name because she had been studying tapes of Meg talking about Phil Jalen. And if you listen to Carrie's accent, I'm sure it's dead on because she spent all this time looking at tapes of Meg, right? Uh, 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 when uh, Matthew Rees came in to do Dan Ellsberg, he's got a, a thing that he does with his voice. It sounds just like Dan Ellsberg. I mean, it's this very subtle thing. That, that guy's Welsh, right? Like, the English is not even, you know, American English is not his natural accent. And he's not only gotten that down, but he's got Dan Ellsberg's accent down. And that starts at the top. And you look at the work that Tom and Merrill did. I mean, I knew from the beginning Merrill was going to know more about Kay than I did, right? Because she was starting roughly the same time as I was, and she's brilliant. And, you know, I think she's read and seen more. And frankly, that, for a writer, that's, that's a help because I want people to keep me honest. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? 